Hello and welcome to Mr. Castillo's lesson on space and perspective. This is part one of three. And this is to create in art the illusion of space by three dimensionality. So let's get started. So to make space in art, there are six main ways to create it. The one we're gonna focus is on linear perspective and uh, mainly, but we will be doing the rest throughout our main work of art, our project. So the first one to create space is called linear perspective. And this is where you create a one or two point perspective drawing of a landscape, or it could be also inside a space. This is a one point perspective. You can see this is a road going off into the distance. There's a tree right here and a tree. And you can have a sunset or fill the space with objects like a city. Uh, the next one is when you overlap objects, you create the illusion of space. Overlapping. This is where you have an object like an apple and you have one apple in front of another apple as you can see this apple is behind this apple so you're over overlapping the next one is in size how you size the items bigger items tend to be closer than smaller items so for example here is uh, we're going to draw a little truck right here and here we go and another truck back here as you can see this truck is bigger than that truck implying that there's distance and size so the way we the bigger objects tend to be closer to us. The placement of objects also indicates, and this is also very similar to size, but this is popular amongst oriental works of art where you have a very high point, point of view. So we're going to place our horizontal line up here and here we go so this ball right here which is lower tends to be closer to us and things that are higher tend to be further away from us so placement in the paper also indicates the illusion of space the next one I like to do with pencil because the sharpie is not very good but I call it atmospheric perspective. It could also be called value perspective. This is used when making shadows. And these are good for typical for landscapes as, as things go into a distance, they tend to get lighter. And here's a this is a range a mountain range and the mountains that are closer to us tend to be darker and as objects go off into the distance they get they get lighter here's another one and then this one's I believe this one's next make it a little bit darker <clears throat> so mountains get lighter as they go off into the distance and I'll show you more examples in a minute and the last one is by detailing in the details things that are closer to us tend to have more details for example this let's make a stop sign 
and then we're going to have another stop sign right over here oops let me make it a little bit better and you can really tell the letters on the sign right there because it's further away so things that are closer to us you can tell more of those details and things that are further away from us you cannot okay so let's jump into the powerpoint and let's take a closer look at some examples this is the last supper by leonardo da vinci he's famous for his mona lisa uh, but he's also famous for this fresco of the last supper and i include this one because it contains almost of all the space and perspective elements to create the illusion of three-dimensionality uh, and we can see linear perspective by the way of these oh, i don't know drapes or columns in the back and there's overlapping see some of the apostles are overlapping uh, each other uh, things are getting bit smaller as they go off into a distance so there's a sizing perspective the placement of objects well there's very little placement but you can see that uh, there is atmosphere perspective look at the sky in the background it gets darker up top lighter as it goes into the horizon and a little bit of the mountains too and of course the details you can see some details over here but not as many details in the back so after this you will to understand the point of view of uh, and perspective and use point of view and perspective to create drawings and paintings and that will be in part two and three so here are some words to know pause it to review them okay so space uh, this is the element of art that refers to the emptiness or error between around above below or within all objects here's another example of Raphael's Vatican in Rome school of Athens this is a very famous painting just like the one we discussed in the last supper it contains all of the elements to create space Perspective is a graphic system that creates the illusion of depth and volume in a two-dimensional surface. So, we already talked about ways to achieve perspective, and these can be used in combination. So, first and foremost, the details. Uh, this is a Sunday afternoon La Grand Jad by Georges Surat. As you can see, uh, objects that are closer to us tend to have more details, like the woman right here. Uh, but objects that are further in the distance back there tend to have less, less details. Uh, this is a work of art created uh, with pointillism, a system where uh, dots were made to create the work of art. This actually took Sir Rod uh, quite a long time to make. I believe it took him about uh, six years to create, uh, but this is a large work of art. Found. You can find this one in the the art institute in chicago illinois okay overlapping when objects are positioned in front of another you can see that uh, the uh, objects overlapping are in front of the object behind it so what can objects can you tell are overlapping others size refers to the objects that are bigger tend to be closer to us uh, rainy day by gustav calaveret uh, is a good example of this uh, as you can see these characters right here in front are more detailed and bigger than these um subjects back here which tend to be uh, further away uh, one thing to keep in mind notice that the heads of the people tend to be somewhere in the middle uh, this implies that um, what to create th this type of element in this work of art you have to keep objects head somewhere around the same plane somewhere around the same line in this case somewhere around the horizontal line in the plane 
displacement is when objects are higher tend to be further off into a distance as you can see in this work of art uh, objects that are further down in the paper or in the image are tend to be closer to us than the objects up on top of the paper so this is actually a mountain landscape uh, you can create the solution by having the horizontal line way up here and you can see that this mountain range is uh, up on top of the paper it seems to be receding or being further away than the objects down here at the paper so the way you place things also and can give you illusion of space um, atmospheric perspective uh, as you can see uh, you can tell the mountains are going off into a distance further and further away but how lighter they get each time you can see even more details right here you can see some pine trees um, and it's a darker value and as it, as it goes off into a distance each time it gets lighter and lighter and lighter until it gets you the, the lightest and you can see a very uh, light thin blue as compared to as this bluish greenish down here and of course a uh, linear perspective this is where the illusion of uh, vanishing point the vanishing point gives you the illusion of three dimensionality and here's a one point perspective and uh, this is one of the ones we're going to be practicing on in part two and in part three we're going to be doing a two point perspective we're not going to do a three-point perspective, we're just going to stick to a one and a two-point perspective, but this is how to create a three-point perspective. Alright, so over uh, going back and uh, summarizing, reviewing, uh, identify which one has details, which which in the, this one right here the, the, with the automobiles, uh, which one you would think will be the main one to create the illusion of space? Details, overlapping, size, placement, atmospheric perspective, or linear perspective? It is actually the same car placed three times. Uh, this mountain range, which one will be the dominant way to create the illusion of space? Details, overlapping, size, placement, atmospheric, or linear perspective? Same thing over here which one will be the one that dominates the illusion of space will be details overlapping size placement atmospheric or linear okay identify these please and identify these details overlapping size placement atmospheric or linear perspective the answer is linear perspective see the railroad tracks go off into a distance into a single point and this one has also goes in uh, to a two point perspective two vanishing points uh, the vanishing points here are outside the frame of the photograph so you don't have to stay within the paper to create two point perspective here we go identify these and let's identify these and we're gonna go over these so linear perspective see the lines on the ground they are all leading to one single vanishing point somewhere behind this building so you don't have to actually see the vanishing point you can just imply it's there uh, but you follow all these lines these lines of the buildings here and right over here all these lines will lead to a one vanishing point a one point perspective you can see the subjects being overlapped so this obviously this this character right here is in front of these over here so there's overlapping the size these objects right here subjects right here are obviously much closer to these these ones back here and even for even more with, uh, with these ones way back there so the way the size and the placement see because these are low in the lowering the frame of the picture and this one somewhere in the middle so not only size by the ways they were placed indicates that there is also space 
if we look at the mountains and the sky, the sky tends to be darker up above as in it, uh, and as it goes off into the horizon, it gets lighter and lighter. Same thing with the mountains, right here, darker here, and it gets lighter and lighter as it goes into the distance. And of course, the details. You can tell some of the facial expressions of these objects right here, but you can't really tell what's going on uh, with these people back here and can't tell what's going on over there, uh, but it does imply motion because of the way he's moving, but if you just take a look, closer look, they're just a stain on the paper. Uh, as compared to these, you can see uh, a lot of values and details on the robes and in the foldings and in the color, so more details. So this work of art contains all the elements to create space. All right, so for our project activity, we will be creating two works of art, one with a one-point perspective in part two, and one with a two-point perspective in part three. Thank you, that is all, and see you next time.